Welcome back. In this part, we're going to be trying to make our way through these adventure missions here. Will we get them all complete? Time will tell. Time will tell. In this part, that is. But we're going to start here with Out of Reach. Basically, I, I stumbled into this area and I heard a man... Na, 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 na. I like that he even blushes there. Oh dear. But yeah, I heard a man asking for help. And I went around, sorted all the repulsion bridges around the place so I could get to the middle. And let's go see how he is now the bridge is repaired. You move pretty quickly, lass. There are lots of nice things in these boxes here. Help yourself. I already took the box. I am in a hurry. Bye. Why didn't you just turn on the switch yourself? I mean, yeah. That one turns on that bridge. He would be out. Why? Why didn't I turn it on myself? <laughs> I suppose I didn't notice. The only re like thing here other than a place to sit is the button. But okay. Well, I mean, there was a chest, but still. Such terrible acting. What? I can't hear you clearly, lass. Uh, speak up. Hmm, so you just wanted to get my attention. No, I did not. Don't be ridiculous, lass. Come on, get out of the way. I can't hold it anymore. Come and get me in the maintenance room if you need anything. Let's... Let's go see him in the maintenance room then. Which is over there, so... Hmm, that's probably closer. Probably, probably. Bosh. What's Herter doing over there? Well, one of the Herters, anyway. Bosh. Look, I don't know for how long this bottle opener has been in the toolbox. I finally found it. A bottle opener in the toolbox. I mean, it makes sense it's a tool. Like this guy here. This bottle of soda is from... Four amber eras ago, Capo Cali. So fragrant. Oh, so refreshing. Why does that name ring a bell? Capo Cali. Huh. Would you like a sip? Just one sip? What one, kid? You have no idea how frustrated I was just now. I had this tasty treat in my hand, but I couldn't drink it. I must try to pry it open with my teeth. Do you not know the trick where you can put it on the side of a counter and just bang it? <gasps> Ooh, that's flashing. Yeah, you just bang it and the, the, it'll come off. No? It's my own fault of bringing it with me when I went down to unblock those bearings. Why did I forget the bottle opener? Let me tell you. The patent for this cup of Kali used to belong to the space station. Is it some of the adverts around the Capricali? Is that how I've, I, I know the name? Hmm. This anti-gravity drink? How do you have an anti-gravity drink? Was once all the rage across the galaxy. I only have a few bottles left. I'd better enjoy every last sip while I still can. All oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I am Wen Tian Wang. How close was I in that? Someone let me know. I am number one around here in terms of age, experience, and skills. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean Jack, because I'm the only one in the maintenance room. Isn't this the maintenance room? And, um... Anyway. I had a partner once, but he was a scoundrel. Not only did he blow a big hole in the space dish, but he also kept sending back these strange letters. He always blocked the bearings and made me go repair them. Strange letters. I never got along with that troublemaker. It's as if we were fated to be at odds with each other. Ah, Akivili must have turned their back on me. Huh. That's why I got stuck in here. I was stuck for so long that I was starting to ache. Ouch and such, yes. You promised to uh, pay me, you know. Pay? Hey, do I look rich to you? I don't necessarily need money. I'm just a poor mechanic. 
I've been charged with dereliction of duty ever since that scoundrel made that giant hole in the station. If you want a reward, I don't have any. <laughs> However, since we've been talking this whole time and you seem agreeable enough, it's worth making an exception. So are you paying me or not? Like what? Listen carefully now. What I am going to give you is... Um, ten Star Rail special passes? I'll take it. Huh? What are you on about? I am only going to show you the way to make money. You're guaranteed to make a fortune. As for the origin of this fortune, well, it all started with this person. Oh, here we go. Remember the scoundrel I was just talking about? His real name is Hosea Lazaro. Don't know that name. The old fart has a bunch of grand titles like former researcher at the Department of Galactic Geopolitics, former member of the Nameless, and member of the Arm... Mm, the Nameless? And member of the Armed Archaeologists. When he was still in the space station, he would boast about his inventions all day. Astro Rod, Galaxy Guide Chart, the Special Auto Radiograph, various soft trick patents. He was so arrogant and refused to obey anyone. What's more, he would get very upset whenever he saw his colleague from the Department of Galactic Geography being bullied by others. He would often stand up for his colleagues and start fights. I don't know what's happening with the accent, by the way. It's just drifting into like this old eccentric. Yes, yes, by Joe. That old eccentric Brit guy, you know. Um, sounds like a decent guy. Yeah, right. Only impressionable young kids like you would get intimidated by those pretentious titles and inventions. Bears. Long story short, Jose is famous for his craftsmanship. It's just getting worse. On one hand, it would be because he likes to tinker with things in his spare time. On the other hand, it's because he would come to the maintenance room to learn from me almost every day. He was responsible for clearing blockages. He invented ultra-nickel parts and he brewed capo Carly. As for me, I was responsible for supervising his work. By the way, we also wrote a book together, The Art of Soda and Space Station Maintenance. Of course, those two things clearly go together. We did have a good time, yes, it really was quite good. Oh, quite good, quite good. Until one day I was suddenly woken up from my sleep by a terribly loud noise. The scoundrel blew a giant hole in the maintenance room and flew away in an aircraft, leaving me with all the mess. Afterward, I learned from the others that the fuel in the spacecraft that he used for his adventure was stolen bit by bit from the maintenance room. Oh, so he'd been planning it for a while then. And this is the station breakout incident that he boasts about all over the place. It's been so many years, but whenever I think about it, I'm still so mad at him. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go with that one. Such a long speech, I am falling asleep. I went off topic. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. Usually I have no one to talk to, but now that I got to let it all out, I feel much better. So what I really want to give you is the treasure map that Jose Lazaro left behind. Awesome. You should have shown me earlier. Uh, oh. Hello. The treasure map revealed by a special auto radiograph is in black and white. Only the location of the target room is marked with a red circle. Where? The thing was hidden in a corner somewhere in the special space station stats. Did I say special? <laughs> Old age. Someone found it and though it was... Uh, th though? Oh, I'm really getting old. Uh, someone found it and thought it was trash. But it ended up here with me. I tried using that old scoundrel's special technique to reveal the text. And lo and behold, it revealed the coordinates of a room. I have been told that the old scoundrel left my personal treasures in the space station. They must be hidden there. You can look for them according to the location on the map. 
you can't find them, then everything belongs to you. Did I say can't? Can. <laughs> I have to go take a couple of sips of Capacali and tinker around with my blazing welding gun. I wouldn't give up on that even if Akivili were to come pay me a visit. Ooh, I kind of did a number on my throat. Anyway, so is that the... Oh, no, it's not the end of the quest. It would be interesting if it was the end of the quest. What's... What's this? Why has he got a different symbol on his head? The center fragmentum corrosion in this zone is very severe. And even the terminal devices recently broke, establishing a remote connection is the only way to go. But that requires beacon data. Are you Twitchka? I guess you're sent here by lead researcher Asta. Awesome. Please do us a favor and collect data from the beacons inside, please. It's quite dangerous in there, but if you're ready, just let me know. Let's go. Huh. How long has this been here? Recommended level 34. So, special mechanism exposure. The scanning function loaded onto the camera can see through enemies. After being sent through, enemies will take 50% more damage. Wait, is this that one of the... Uh, is that... Yeah, that's that quest, isn't it? We'll look at that later. It's just slowly me realising, like, wait, 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 wait. I've been sent there at another point. This should be the room shown on the treasure map. To Treasure Hunters, Part 1. Aho, you've been fooled. Actually, there is no treasure at all. The only big gifts are my four graffiti drawings hidden in this room. And yes, there is also a nice picture of our respected Madame Herta. You didn't expect this, did you? If you are a devout little researcher, take a deep breath. Don't get a heart attack. If you are a fun-loving person, I suggest you collect them all. Take them out when life is bad and have some fun while studying in the Dark Tower. Laughing, Jose Lazaro. So, let's find the M then. Some kind of bottle. Oh, that's for the, um, soda that they have. To Treasure Hunters Part 2. Alright, if you can see this, it means you have followed my advice and that you're... You possess the precious virtue of perseverance. Basically just turned around, but okay. I must admit you've gone to such a long way. If I don't give you something, it'll, it'll be a little mean. After all, I don't know who'd be looking for my treasure after so many amber eras. How long has it been? This is a slim chance that maybe you are my future champion, my spiritual successor. I can see that happening. Wouldn't it be a pity if I accidentally hurt my friends? Seems like there's no other way. I have to show you the real treasure now. You respected, Jose Lazaro. Lazaro. Do I get a pair of goggles? That'd be kind of cool. To Treasure Hunters Part 3. Have you ever had a soda called Capocali? It was once the signature of the space station, an anti gravity drink extremely popular in the Southern Orion system. Orion system. And again, still, I'm, I'm, I'm very much thinking, what is an anti-gravity drink? A drink you can have in anti-gravity, or the actual drink itself doesn't obey gravity? Oh, sorry, besides my other famous inventions, like the Astro Rod and Galaxy Guide, this is another one of my masterpieces. The Inter-Astral Peace Corporation once wanted to spend five minute credits to buy its recipe, and I refused. That's a lot of money. When Huerin of the Herta Department of Implement, Implement Arts has tried to steal the secret from me 33 times, for which he was beaten to a pulp like he deserved. Whoa, to a pulp? Now I'll make it public once and for all. Oh, is that what we're going to get at the end of this? Just a recipe for the soda? Part four. Look at her to Jack in the box. No, uh, do not doubt your eyes. Above 
is the precious secret recipe of Capricorn. It was just on the wall. I swear on my mother's grave. If you are one of us, you will know where to decode the password above. Oh, is it encrypted? Tip, a special method is required to reveal the text. Rosea Lazaro, the terrific. What? So we're going over there now, back to him. Okay. Bosh. I like doing the bosh. No idea why. I think it's just how he punches things. It's just like, boom. There's some weight behind it. There's some proper weight behind that. I really do like that. I didn't get this, did I? Yay. And there was much rejoicing. Did you find them? What are these? Don't get me wrong. I'm just curious. I don't believe that old scoundrel would leave us anything good. What's the paper you are holding? Oh, that's Madame Herta. Disrespectful, really disrespectful. Give it to me and don't let others see it. I want to keep it. I, I'll frame it, put it on my wall. Don't be fooled. A tiger never changes its stripes. You can't trust that scoundrel, Hosea. Quick, give it to me. If someone finds out, we are done for. What? This is an encrypted letter, the secret recipe of... Capocane? Why, you... Just you wait. There's enough audiograph reagent. So, what the, When, my man, how are things? After I left the space station, my little birds in the Department of Galactic Geography told me things were not exactly going your way thanks to my... unconventional way of doing things. Your entitlement... To become the head of the Department of Implement Arts got stripped. To add insult to injury, they put you in the maintenance room to make up for the giant hole I blew out. It is what it is. My apology would only hurt you more at this point. Nor can it make up for your loss. You know me, I hate hypocrites more than anything. For years, I have been wandering amongst the stars, and I can't remember how many times I thought of writing to you. But I've heard that all of the people working in the station... You hate Hosea Lazaro the most. What's the point of sending you a letter knowing very well that you would not read it? That's why I sneaked back to the station some time ago and set up this puzzle for you to solve. All this fuss just to make sure you get this letter. Now, it's time that I hand over the secret recipe of Capo Carly to you. Sell it to the IPC. They'll make it worth your while. Some sort of compensation from me, I guess. I wish you well in the rest of your journey. Secret recipe of Cup of Carly. Caramel, copper dioxide, peas, Canterbury bells, interdimensional leaves, ambergris, and orchid zest. Yes, you are seeing it right. Above is the secret recipe of Cup of Carly. I swear on my mum's life that it's authentic. If you are one of us, you'll know how to decrypt it. Got a tip for you. A special method. Well, we know, we, we know, we know that bit. What's he playing at, the old scoundrel? As long as we can find the treasure. Caramel carbon dioxide. Sounds familiar. Ambergris. Does it mean saliva? At least he has a shred of loyalty left at my age. A sip of cup of car is the only thing I want. Of course, I never cared about all the mess he left with me. Ever since I was young, I have never liked academic research in dealing with the Department of Implement Arts. My biggest wish was to hide in this maintenance room and play with the tools. Work when I wake up, and sleep when I get tired. In my opinion, dealing with machines is much more fun than dealing with people. So many people have come and gone through the space station over the years. With the exception of Hosea. I wonder how many things you've seen. So I was angry that the old scoundrel didn't share his breakout plan with me. Not even a little bit. So I was angry that the old scoundrel didn't share his... Oh, because he didn't share it a little bit. I thought he, he was saying he wasn't angry a little bit, but he said he, he was. But no, he's upset he didn't share the plan. A little bit. Aren't we brothers? 
Shouldn't brothers be able to talk about anything? Nevertheless, it's been so many years I have long since learned to let it go. On the contrary, whenever I hear about what kind of trouble he's making outside, I really do feel happy for him. He was born to run amok all over the galaxy. You are very enlightened. One has got to learn to let it go eventually. So after all that, the treasure is just this recipe, lass. What do you think? Uh, you keep it. As a memento. I do not want it. Unless you insist, then maybe I'll consider taking it home. It's very important to you. Well, in that case, let me show you something. Let me see these ingredients. I suppose I can find some in the warehouse if I look hard enough. Come on, a big bucket of fresh cabacali. That's the taste. Just take these sodas with you. They can refresh your mind and strengthen your body. Lass, you're the only one who would talk to me ever since Hosea left. If you're interested in that old scoundrel, you could look around the space station again and see if you can find some of those letters he sent back. Those letters are filled with his bragging. That guy just wants more people to hear his nonsense. Nonsense can be very interesting to listen to. Oh, I kind of agree with that. Kind of agree with that. <laughs> you little brat. All right, enough chit-chat. For now on, whenever you are free, <laughs> just remember to come more often to chat with me. Although I don't have much of anything here, you and I have an agreement. Whenever you pop in, there will always be enough Capocali for you. And then he just disappeared, and then came back. How strange. Out of reach, mission complete. So do we, 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 could we, could we, could we? This is my question to other people out there. Could we have ended up with a Capocali recipe? Or maybe that's where I, like, bottled soda. I don't have a Capocali as an Capocali as an option. A sugar-free energy drink. I like there's a sugar-free version. Which is better. I wonder if that's some kind of message there. Like the, the sugar-free one's better for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, I'm actually thinking... Probably in that part here. Yeah. Well, end that part here. Just keep that in, in its own little little oh, part to itself. I give up. He gives up. He gives up. Yeah, just 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 keep that all to itself. Like the Capo Carly quest, you know, that sort of thing. Plus, I need a little bit of a break to try and get doing his voice out of my system, you know. Otherwise, we're stuck like this going forward here and there, and we don't want that to end. Oh, no. So, we, um, we shall see you in the next part. Ta-ta. For now.